That's a good one. What's up? My name is Don. Ro. I'm Sammy Lee. We are the Soul Brothers, and we're back up in it with a versus video, part of our versus series, of course. And uh, these are two heavyweight shoes right here. Heavyweight, baby, big, big, big boys. Big, the big, big boys. <laughs> the big boys. Someone's gonna clown that. Hey, but well, we gotta do it, man. <laughs> we are the big boys, and we are bringing you this versus video. It is the Did Nike. Oh no. We're both Nikes. Oh, yep, yep. But I'm gonna start with the KD8 Elite. The Elite. Which I did not have, I'm just saying it, because uh, this is more of Sammy's versus video. <laughs> and then versus the LeBron 13. Elite or regulars? Just the regulars, because I didn't regs. play the Elites. Oh, right, right, yeah. I did play in the Elites. Yep. Uh, but I didn't play in the KD8, so. Yeah. Uh, we're, at a, we're at a standstill. Yep. But, but this is uh, this versus video, so let's we'll start off with the traction. The traction on the LeBron 13, I do have both the translucent outsole and the the, the, the solid, solid rubber outsole. I couldn't think of that. I just kind of blinked out there. Mm -hmm. but, um, and uh, the solid rubber outsole, in my opinion, is a lot better uh, mm -hmm. because the translucent outsole does attract a lot more dust. The LeBron 13, um, the solid rubber outsole is very nice uh minimal wiping very like every like seven plays or something rarely have to wipe on that you stop i stop really hard really fast it's super squeaky uh it's a very reliable traction i really have not had any super bad slip outs so that traction is very nice um translucent probably should just try to get the solid rubber okay right. the kd8 elite the one i have is the all white um translucent outsole bottoms mm -hmm. and uh, translucent outsole uh, it was really nice but it does attract a lot of dust uh, very quickly also maybe every like two to three plays and um, I did have uh, like five or six really really bad slips where I almost uh, rolled my ankle and stuff like that and I fell on my ass so LeBron 13 for the win LeBron 13 for the win but uh, if it was a solid rubber I'm not sure but yeah. LeBron 13, I feel like it's, it's still going to be better. Yeah, it's tough with outsoles. You know, they kind of vary a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on to the midsole. In the LeBron, we have a bunch of zoom units. Yep. Um, I think in the Elite they added some, right? Yeah, so the Elite there's two more, I think. Right. Or three? Yeah. Something like that. But there's hex zoom units in the forefoot and a big one in the heel. And then that's uh, encased in a bunch of phylon. Yes. Right? Which is, uh, it's nice. It's, it's nice. decent. I couldn't feel it like crazy, but you like it, right? I really like it. Yeah. Um, I can actually feel it on the ball of my foot. Uh, on the ball of my foot, it's exactly where it is, obviously. And it feels. Uh, very much like the uh, Hyper Rev 2015, 2015 or 2014? Uh, what year are we in? 2020? 2018? <laughs> the 2015, I think. The one that mm -hmm. I like with the the wings, yeah. the positive wings. But um, it does remind me of that. It feels really nice. Um, it's bouncy. It does give good impact protection. Uh, I can't really feel anything in the heel, but uh, it, just in that spot, uh, the ball of my foot, it feels really nice. Um, the KD8 is the exact same thing. It's articulated on the um, the lateral side of the shoe. So it's a full length zoom. Right. Um, I, it, is it bottom loaded? I think so. And then there's a phylon midsole on top, I think. Right. Um, I think. Um, but anyways, I'll just tell you how it feels. It's, artic art it's articulated in the lateral side of the shoe. On the medial side, um, it's, it feels really similar to the LeBron 13s. Um, in the KD8 Elites, um, I feel like there's a little bit more bounce in the KD8 Elites, mm -hmm. and I can feel the zoom unit in the heel a little better. Right. And it uh, the movement is a lot more fluid in the KD8 Elites. Yeah, um, the heel kind of comes out. Yeah. You can really feel that step. Yep, and then it's, it's, it's a better uh, heel to toe transition and yeah. stuff. So I would have to go with the KD8 Elites. I really do like the LeBron 13s though. So um, it's a, a slight win for the KD. It's a tie ball game right now. We're at 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. We only got a few rounds left. Yep. Moving on up. To the materials. The LeBron 13 has, uh, is just, it's made out of uh, 
Where is it? Well, well, they take, uh, I think it's granite. Granite, yeah, granite. Which is one of the harder rocks yeah. that you can get. Yeah, and then they put um, uh, diamond structure on. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, they put a lot of fucking posit. It's really hard at first. And um, one problem I have that I really don't like about the LeBron 13 uh, is that um, my it kills my toes. It hurts mm. really bad. When I stop really hard, I don't have this problem with any other shoes, but in LeBron 13, it like kills and scrunches up my pinky toe and it hurts really bad. Um, so that's one thing I don't like about it. Um, it it's have not... you ever thought about removing your pinky toe? <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't have that problem. Yeah, yeah. Just that's a thought. A good, yeah, good idea. But um, the material is not that bad after you break it in, but it does take a good amount of time to break in. Um, so it's, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. uh, the KD8 Elite has a uh, foam. It's basically a foam booty. Um, and it, uh, on top of that, in the forefoot area, it's like a, um, I don't know. I still don't know what that material is. Oh, it's, it looks like a snake skin. Yeah. Kind of, it's a synthetic yeah, leather-ish material. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a hard kind of material though. But uh, it gives support and then uh, where you need it. And then it's uh, the mesh uh, kind of foam material is soft and feels nice on the foot. And then the compression sock feels really nice. It keeps your foot locked down. So material-wise, I would definitely have to go with the KD Elites. Okay. So we got a we got a leader now. Yep. Okay, moving on to fit. KD elites. Okay. I don't I do not have a white foot. If you have a white foot, LeBron 13 is always a good option. Um, and KDs, those are super narrow. Freaking narrow. Those are like the complete opposites fit wise. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. LeBron's got that Barney Rubble foot and then KD's got the Earthworm Gym foot. <laughs> exactly. You know? So um I have to go half a size up for the KD elites because seven and a half is too tight for me. Right. But um, fit wise, I would say the uh, the KD8 elites for me. Okay. Um, support wise, I would have to go with the LeBron 13s. Mm -hmm. Um, just because the material is just so supportive and um, the ankle actually ankle protection is actually a lot better. Um, because the KD8 elites, I can't fit my ASO ankle brace. The KD elites, eight elites are basically low. Yeah, basically. I mean, the compression sock is not going to give you any ankle support. Yeah, it gives ankle compression, not ankle support. Right. And uh, moving on to um, lockdown. Lockdown, I would. You said the compression helped lock you down, right? So LeBron thirteen, I do have a little bit of heels, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the KD elite, I didn't really have any slippage or anything at all. So KD elite by a little bit. Okay. Okay, moving on to ventilation, definitely the KD Elite, LeBron 13 is a hot ass shoe for yeah. me, so there goes that. Um, and then moving on durability. to- Durability? Oh, durability. Yes. Durability Durability. Is LeBron 13s? Yeah. That shoe is a tank. Yeah, uh, You can play in it for years. It's almost as durable as the Air Monix, that's how durable it is. Yeah, which is crazy. It's just really nice, you know? Yeah. KD Elites, KD8 Elites have the Zoom Bag, which can top. Um, and the, the rubber, I feel like is the LeBron 13 is the rubber is harder. Yeah. Um, and then the mesh and foam uh, can rip and yeah. the compression sock. Okay. Uh, now moving on to aesthetics, KD Elite for me. Yes. Yeah, but my Elite colorway of the LeBron 13 is sexy as hell. Yeah, those are pretty dope. The maroons. Yeah. But that shoe looks like straight hot garbage yeah, to me. Yeah, I don't really like how it looks. But that's just my opinion. Let us know which one you guys think looks better. Mm -hmm. um, so wrapping things up, price-wise, we're dead even. They're both are 200. No. Yeah, but right now, but now the LeBron 13s, sales. you can get it for like 100 bucks. Yeah. The KD Elites are $200. Yeah. So price-wise, I would just say go for the LeBron 13s. They're not a bad option. Yeah. I do enjoy that shoe. Don really doesn't like those, but I do enjoy it. Um, if price was not an option, I would definitely have to go with the KD Elites. Um, it's just attraction that kind of uh, ruins it for me. Maybe if they come out with a solid rubber option, then I would right. go for those. Yeah. You know, but uh, the true winner for me is the KD Elites, I think. Right. But I have been playing the LeBron 13s a lot. I just, I just don't want the LeBron 13s to win. <laughs> I'm just hating. Ah, oh, dude, I really like both of them. Right. I don't know. So 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 um, for me it's a tie if price is not an option if right. price is uh, a problem then I will go with the LeBron's. All right. There we go. There it is. The man said his piece. All right. Now you leave him alone. Leave me alone. It's my piece. Yeah. <laughs> just saying my opinion, you guys. Just trying to help you guys out. Yeah. 
and uh, we hope you did and we will see you guys tomorrow if you're not subscribed to us we put out a video every single day because this that's just how we get busy um and like subscribe share all that stuff and we will see you guys tomorrow my name is don sammy here later peace